Hey explorers, how's it going? Brandon here on another awesome exploration with Stickland Urbex Exploration. I'm on my way to a farmhouse now, built way back, I think it's the early 1900s or late 1800s. I'll find out for sure. I'll try to do all the posting and that, but like I said, I'm new to this, I'm working with it. I just want to show you that this is the driveway here that leads to the place. So we're pretty much, as you can see, out in the middle of nowhere, a couple farms around. There is a main highway close, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show all of the front, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to make my way down there, and I'll see you soon. I finally made it to the end, and this is what it looks like in the backyard. So you can see a nice big house, and just off to the side, there's one barn. And in front of it, you can't see, but there's a second barn. I'll try to make it into both of them. See you inside the house. I'm just walking up to the house here, and I've noticed they've got an old trailer here. I wonder what used to be hooked up to that. More fence broke down. And over here, we got some tires some bins, a whole crap load of stones, a bunch of skids, it looked like it was just a little garbage area. And over there's the house. Got a bit of a field. Looks like they still might be using it, I'm not sure. Beautiful weather out though for exploring, not too hot. The rain held off, that's a bonus. All right, I'm gonna make my way in. I'll see you in a few. What's going on explorers? We made it, we're here. I'm finally gonna make my way into the house. It looks like it's been empty for a while. You can tell lots of disrepair, stuff falling down everywhere. Good thing I wore my steel toes, especially with having to walk through that mile long driveway. Sorry, I'm just seeing over there, there's this blue tarp waving around in the old uh, barn and tons of crows around. It makes for an awesome scene. I'm gonna switch the camera around. I want you to see over here, they've got another pile of garbage, whole bunch of stuff. There's the barn I was talking about. We'll be in there soon. All right, let's go in. All right, guys, we are here. This is walking in the front door. As you can see, it was just wide open. Of course, on an old place like this. Check it out. Roof down right away. I'm not sure why all the wood's off the walls. I guess there was a party going on. Oh, no way. An old hockey. Air hockey, I guess. It's crazy how many old houses you see those in. Hello? Is anybody home? Look at this. Just beautiful. Tiles coming down. Look at that. That is awesome. They don't make cool stuff like this anymore. No name. And a comfy chair. And look at that. For uh, Urbex. Now I'm drawing a blank. I've got two chairs in my house. No windows, so it's pretty damp in here. We got ourselves, it was an old sewing table. Somebody took it out. Must have been a good one. Okay, that's the basement. I don't even want to touch the light switch in this place. And here would have been your kitchen. But everything, everything is gone. Cabinets and everything. They left the carpet though. It's a nice one. Okay. I'll be back in one second. I'm just going to get my flashlight out. I got here, I got all excited and I just came right in. So give me one minute to prepare. 
All right, we are back right where I left you. What's going on in this way? It's going to be the upstairs. Oh, I love the curve. Look at that. The old carpet. Oh, man. Just the smell of these old houses. People don't mention that enough in the videos. When you've been exploring and you've been in an abandoned place, just that smell, Lord. An event in the middle of the room, the door open. It's got a shelf, beer bottle. There's the ceiling coming down again. This house is pretty big. I don't think this is an add-on. I'm pretty sure it's all the original house. Look at this stonework in here, though. And see, even though the whole house is coming down, look how beautiful this brick look. Awesome. And here we got, oh, this was a bathroom. Toilets all smashed, nothing on the wall. People have definitely been here. Here's a little front porch. That door's open also. You can hear the cars in the background there. Some more stone. Ooh. Insulation everywhere. I'm in construction, steel framer and drywaller. So I deal with insulation. I hate it. You've got to be masked up. Oh, a little chair, but I'm guessing that might have been where they had the wood. Oh, somebody tried to get up in the attic. We'll take a peek up in there. But look at this. First. They left the couch and the chair. Beautiful bay window. I'm guessing perhaps that brick went through the window. It's a decent sized room. Could imagine this when it was lively. The holes for the vents in the barber or the fireplace, that's just wicked. That's very cool. Brickwork in a house looks amazing, everybody. Remember that. It's in here. Just vents, like you would think. Okay. You guys might be taking the peak better than I am. Can you see much going on? No. Doesn't look like it. I'll check the camera, because I don't got the best view, and if there is, I'll climb back up there. Let's come back down. Okay. On our way we go. I'm going upstairs before downstairs, that's for sure. Everything in this place still feels solid, so that's good. first. Oh, that was a teddy bear. And they always like to point out original door handles. Look at that. That's real cool. It's my first pair of those, okay? Remember that. Oh, definitely a kid's room. We got the Cookie Monster and Big Bird. Can't go wrong. Look how high the wood lining is, too. That's always a sign of a good made house. We got a bird nest. I think that's what that is. 
can see the barn somewhat through. It's overgrown a little bit, but because of the weather, you can still still see through. I thought this was going to be another room. It's just a closet. Coat hangers, tons of them. I like to dress. Look, see, not as nice. All their closets have these double shelves on top. Old farmhouses, they did tend to have lots of space, lots of cupboard space, more coat hangers. No clothes. What does that tell you? That's pretty cool wallpaper. Miami's in the 70s. A beautiful built-in cabinet. They've got a satellite, so don't know how long it would have been abandoned for, but obviously it's been a long time. I found the clothes right there. Maybe, maybe not. This place is pretty empty. I'm not guessing we're going to see much. But such a beautiful ambiance in here. If you like abandoned and this is always what shocks me. Plaster on top of wood. On the ceiling, on the walls. I much rather just do the drywall bits. Alright, here's your bathroom. Oh yeah, another bird nest. That's another good thing about these farmhouses. You get a lot of animals that come in here, start families. Some come to die, which is the sad part, but it gives them somewhere. That's where the shower was. cupboards. Not quite sure what that is. Chair for something. What do we got? Blinds, coat hangers, oh, black mold. If I start seeing much of that, that door in there is making noises, then I'll have, definitely have to put my mask on. I came prepared with everything. Let's close that back up. Upstairs, it's not that big. It never really is in the farmhouses. You've just got your, your rooms. It's homely. The rails are still on. You don't see that much. But we'll take that as a win. Even though I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to touch it. Pushing 200 pounds, maybe more with my backpack on. 6'3", six, 6'4", six, depending on what type of the day you catch me at. I'm surprised that a lot more of these places don't give way. But they actually can be quite strong. That's beautiful. Putting upside down, but I really like the casted metal. 
Everything's plastic now. You got the butterflies. Somebody loved this place. We even got flowers on the door handles. Of the cupboards that aren't here anymore. If you're in the kitchen, you can see who's coming up. Uh oh. My nephew brought friends. We need more food. All right. I'm going to make my way into the basement, but I'm going to get my, my gloves and my mask on. So I will be back with you guys shortly. I just want to show you guys here. Look how nice this brickwork looks. When you've got brickwork inside a house, I noticed some's out here too. whole house can be falling down and look how nice this brick stayed. The living room. Ceiling coming right down. Got a nice bay window. Beautiful. What a fireplace. I like how it's attached all the way around. Lots of vents. I guess it must have got hot in here. Noticing they've got a chair sitting here where the firewood should be. But it's because there's a an attic hatch. I'm going to stick you up there. You can let me know if you see anything. I'll check the camera as well. If it looks like there's anything up here. I'll make my way up. Time for the basement. Wanted to show you guys that in this room, in the ceiling, you can see part of either the toilet or the bathtub. If it wasn't for those giant beams, it would be down here. And this as well. One of the big giant beams they've got going across the kitchen. They're a little bit more cleaned up than the rustic ones that you'd see in most, but it still adds a nice touch. We're about to wake our way downstairs, but I found these under a bunch of the ceiling tiles. Some old school walkie-talkie box. Look at that. 3,000 feet. Okay, mine goes 3,000 miles. I was going to say, are these are better than mine? If you had that as a kid, you were cool. But then look at this. Old school record player. We're going to leave them out here on display. Not stick them back under the tiles. And on this old recliner... Look at this. Maybe it even massaged. Pretty cool. Okay. We're gonna make our way downstairs now. So I just putting on my other glove. 
want to show you before we head down. I got a big old bone down here. Not sure what was gnawing away on that, or is that a sign to not go down here? But as you can see, the stairs look a bit rough. But that mold, that's not good. Okay, here we go. Not much down here. Concrete level that was raised and now collapsing. Old sub pump. An electrical box. More nests going on. Okay, not much down here. I like the brick walls, though. So you can tell another old place. Alright, well, less time spent down here, the better. Let's see if we make our way back upstairs. That's so low. I've had to duck the whole time down here. I will. Lots of stuff going on there. Okay, we're back outside the house now. We're gonna make our way over to the barn. Just wanna show you a little bit of everything that's going on out here. Almost looks like there might have been another barn here. But it's all collapsed now. We even got ourselves a racing tire, a slick. The stuff you find out here, it's crazy. All right, here's the barn here. Let's see if we can get in this side instead of ducking again. We got a swan, a chunk of a car. More tires over there. We'll even skip the little door and we'll go in the big door. It's not gonna be much in these either. It's just gonna look awesome. Even had a rope swing, a chair. That's pretty awesome. This place is huge. Sorry for my breathing. Lots of walking, and I think I got too much stuff on for this for this one. Big old light. What are they using that for? One way only. A lot of wire. Old workbench. All these wires and these switches, they obviously had power out here too. Big old chain. What do you say, should I test it? That piece of wood up there looks strong. 
Feels all right, but if that roof came down. Just a little chicken area, maybe. Bees. All right. If you look from here at the barn, they've got an attachment to it. So we'll see what's what's going on in there. I noticed as I was walking out the vanity from inside one of the washrooms was outside the whole cabinet, the sink, everything. Closing a barn is always worrying. What's under here? and stuff growing that's pretty cool I love that green color love it like predator blood mm -hmm. broken chair pampers mm -hmm. yeah chicken feathers and pigeon feathers Should have kept my mask on in here too. I'm kicking everything up. Horses, big. Big, big doors. Wonder what's going on up there. Birds nests all over. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they're all on the ground. What kind of a bird lays their nests on the ground? I know I've heard of it. Bait packs. And it's cool, though. they're almost going in a circle. All right. I'm going to check out the barn a little bit more. If I find any more, I will show you. Back at you. Hey, Explorers. I hope you enjoyed this first video I'm going to post. Thank you all for tuning in. Show me the love. Please hit the like and subscribe to these videos. I'm going to put more out other awesome places. I can't wait to go on this journey with you guys. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you on the next one.